Welcome to this WebEx showcasing the macro technology as well as the placeholder technology. So to insert a macro, simply right click on your mouse, insert window macro, and you can select any file you want and organize your macros into file folders. Each macro has multiple different variants, up to 26 variant per macro. And you can use the macros for various different representation types, such as macros for multi-line or single line or 3D if you need to. So I simply select my macro. And then I can use the X and Y keys on my keyboard to position the macro exactly where it was initially created. And once I drop the macro, now we can see the placeholder technology. This allows you to select value sets. In this case, I've got three different value sets based on where my power is coming from. I'm going to select my second line circuit. And the values are then transferred from the placeholder onto the macro. Then by simply holding the tab key, I can navigate through the different macro variants. And then I can select the variant I want, drop it in. Again, choose the value set that I want through my placeholder technology. In this case, I'm going to select the large motor. And I have certain attributes that can also be modified on the fly, such as here, the function text. Confirm with OK. Number the devices. Now I can go ahead and select the second circuit. Again, select the size of my motor, for example. All of the values are then transferred to the objects. And here, I'm going to modify my text again. Then place my third one. Again, hit the tab key to access the different macro variants. Select my value set. And finally, my last one, pop it in, select again this value set, change my function text. And we're done. So you can see that using the macro technology as well as the placeholder technology, you can design extremely fast and very efficiently because the data gets transferred to the objects automatically. Enjoy those two technologies.